Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. Contact with the old man known as Code Talker. According to the Intel team member you extracted, he knows what the epidemic is and how to treat it. You'll find him in a mansion deep in the valley beyond the forest. He's a high-value target who's probably involved with Cypher's research. This information came at a heavy price. And you can bet security on site is gonna be tight. Watch yourself out there, all right? Make contact with the target, Code Talker. And if the treatment requires it, Extract him to Mother Base. you saw in that devil's house. Poor bastards. Please select All strapped down to the beds with those lumps on their Please chest. The medical deployment. staff tell me they were probably a type of cyst. Cysts can get that big. In some cases, yes. But supposing they're a kind of atheroma forming on the surface of the skin, the size is just too big. And the appearance is all wrong. In the end, the medical team were at a loss. Those lumps were like nothing they'd ever seen. The fluid you said you got on your prosthesis when you touched one was burned off in the fighting, and the factory burned down too. None of the tests we did once you were back at the base revealed a pathogen that could have caused them. Meaning we don't have a single sample to work with. Everything was no a sign of the enemy. Judging from security in the area, I'd expect to see a patrol by now. We could end up like that. And? Mother Base's sanitation control has always been strict. After all, war is great at transporting diseases. For the time being, at least. There's no sign of contagion or... Missed. I have a bad feeling about this. One more thing. About the surgery that had been performed on the people in the Devil's House. Yeah? You said that their throats were cut open with an acoustic... in a car accident on the auto route near Marseille. Protests outside the Libyan embassy in London, a press conference with the former prime minister of Sweden, a four-month-old weather forecast for Balikpapan, and then commercials for appliances, cough syrup, and TV dinners. Assuming they're not all staged, they come off as recordings of your average public broadcasts. Public broadcasts? Just radio and TV signals. Yes, and from all over the world. 
We're looking into whether they're genuine or not, just to be sure. What else? A speech that sounds like it was recorded out on the street, and people chatting about how this year's tomato crop did. And there's nothing they have in common? We're part way through the crypt analysis. That includes checking all audio ranges and running it backward and at different speeds. Then there's vocabulary breakdown for political suggestions, ideological common points. But I don't think it's going to get us anywhere. Where were the recordings made? There's nothing linking them from that angle either. Just like you reported. You see that? The sniper vanished into thin air. Just like quiet. German if you can't mark them, there's no way to tell what our strike is. Hindi, Where are they? Portuguese, Mandarin, Cantonese, Japanese. They're nothing if not thorough. <laughs> well, I don't know if we've got them all covered. Ignoring the ones that have gone extinct, supposedly over 5,000 languages exist today. Besides, English isn't one of the ones we picked up. Really? English? I know. Only 5% of the world's population is a native English speaker. But when you factor in those who've acquired it as a second language, nearly one-third of the people speak it. The world's dominant lingua franca. You gotta figure they had it somewhere among all the languages in that place. No English. Bear in mind we didn't hear everything that was played in that room. We couldn't isolate the more distant sounds due to static and the... Well, the program could have been set to change every day. In a nutshell, for reasons unknown, People in that room with a common medical condition were made to listen to recordings in languages from around the world. It's not clear how the growths on their chests fit into it. It could have been treatment for them, or maybe an experiment of- Boss, that's a serious injury. It won't heal on its own. You'll need to treat it with first aid. He was there. The only thing we can say for sure is that he's involved. Good. Don't let your buddy die, Snake. I'm pulling them out of there. Buddy, approaching area of operations. Please select a drop point. Dispatch requested. a pretty good partner, huh, boss? Too early to say. Yeah? Just seeing him come back makes me real proud. What breed is he? He's not a husky. You're right. Siberian husky is a cross between a spitz-type dog and a wolf. I think Dee Dee might have some wolf blood in him, too. He isn't just smart. He's also shown remarkable judgment. If he doesn't do what you want him to, he's just doing what he thinks is right in the situation. And he's steady under fire. Remember, he's no lab dog, but learn his strengths, and you'll understand each other soon enough. You'll make one hell of a team. Ocelot, why'd you take it upon yourself to train him? <laughs> why? Yeah. When's the last time you heard a wild cat raising a dog? I have an eye for him. 
I knew at first glance he'd make the right partner for you. Huh. And I figured it was about time he got out into the world. So you passed him off on me. There, you see? I knew you liked him. I don't know about that yet. I still think he's trying to figure me out, too. I'll spend some more time with him. You'll see how helpful he can be. What about you? I prefer to work alone. Ocelots don't hunt in packs. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I'm glad you like him. He's really taken to you, too. And to going on your walks. Don't be shy about taking him with you in the future. I'll think about it. Look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sporgatum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. The infection rate, along with the number of dead, are both on the rise. If we don't find the cause, and soon... Folks, if you've ever seen these symptoms before, the bodies floating around in the oil facility, the bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House. This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. It could be a counterplay by Skullface. That's insane. You mean they weaponized parasites? Parasites as weapons. That definitely falls under the Biological Weapons Convention. But it's something the world would never see coming. And no one's ever developed a vaccine for parasites. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa? It may be. But if it is, how did the yellow cake and walker gears fit in? There must be something bigger we're not seeing. Anyway, our priority now is to prevent more casualties. The medical team is studying the infection. But we can't treat anyone until we know the root cause. All we can do right now is halt the spread of infection. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Good. Good. Supply drop complete.
Come in. Boss?
select a drop point. Buddy, departing area of dispatch requested. Symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter, an open wound, mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. It's not like she's gonna talk. No, not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who've become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel. But this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Don't tell me you took them all out. That's incredible. 